Okay, so we have here question number nine from the practice paper A um, for the international A level syllabus. Um, nine, part A, we're asked to sketch on the same pair of axes the graphs of y equals sine x minus 60 and y equals negative tan x in the interval of x between minus 180 and 180 showing the coordinates of points of intersection with the coordinate axes in exact form and part b write down the number of solutions to this equation um, sine of x minus 60 plus tan x equals zero in the same interval okay so here first of all we need to draw y equals sine x minus 60 and y equals minus tan x okay so you've got to draw y equals sine of x minus 60 degrees and y equals negative tan x. Um, I'll start with negative tan x. Now, the tan curve has asymptotes, okay, kind of um, between at 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Let me just put in some of the values we've got. Say, so let's say that's 90 here. And let's say, try and make it equal, 180. And say 90 here it's a sketch so we don't have to be 100% accurate and <coughs> 180 here that's your y that's your x I'll put 1 here and minus 1 here <coughs> and then you got 2 and you got minus 2 and so on alright so now the tan curve has asymptotes at 90 degrees okay the tan curve normally looks like this it has asymptotes at every at 90 degrees and then it repeats every 180 the tan curve repeats every 180 degrees so you'll have an asymptote going like this let me get rid of the arrow okay let's make it a bit thicker so you have an as one asymptote asymptote going like this straight down is that straight down Oops. And then you have another asymptote um, here at 90 degrees. Minus, oops, what did I do there? That's minus 90 and minus 180. <coughs> oops. What's happening here? Sorry about this. Okay, one at minus nine. So every 180 degrees, it repeats. Every 180 degrees, it repeats. Okay, it's pattern. So 90 and minus 90, you will have asymptotes. And the next one will be at 270 and at minus 270, which we don't need. Now the sine curve, the, the tan curve will normally um, go like this. It will come. It will come from negative 90 like from infinity down here you come the closer you go to minus 90 the closer it goes down the negative side so it comes up like this and then it goes through zero zero and then it heads up at 90 getting closer and closer to 90 the closer it gets to 90 the higher it goes it's asymptote okay these are horizontal asymptotes but we're not sketching uh, y equals tan x we're sketching sketching y equals minus tan x so this is of the form um, y equals negative fx. So it's a reflection which has to be a vertical reflection. So it's a reflection in the x-axis. Okay, so all the y values swap signs and the x values stay the same. So instead of going like this, it's going to go like this instead. Okay, so I'll just draw. I'll try and draw that. Okay, so it's going to go like this and it's going to curve and it's going to go through zero zero and it's going to go like this and go down like this something like that okay and it repeats every 180 degrees so at minus between minus 180 and 180 uh, between minus 90 and zero okay that pattern here will be repeated between 90 and 180 because it's like 180 away so it will go like this and we only have to draw up to 180 so we can stop there and between 0 and 90, it's going to repeat between minus 180 and minus 90. So it's going to come from 0. It's going to go 
have this type of shape. Okay? Try to do your curves a bit smoother than this. Mine is a bit difficult to do. And this particular tool I have. Now, that's y equals, that's y equals negative tan of x. Negative tan of x. Now I'm going to do sine x minus 60. Now, the, the, the graph of y equals sine x will go through, and I'll mark the points, and I'm going to do this in a different color. Um, I'll do this in this, I'll just do it in black, I guess. I'll just make it this color, I'm color blind anyway. All right, so sine x will normally go from through 0, 0, and it will reach 1 at 90 degrees. And then it will reach 0 at 180. So it goes like this. Between 0 and 180, it's like this. And it goes to minus 1 at minus 90 and back to 0 at 180. Okay, we have to know our, our sine and cosine curves and tan curves. So that's how it would look normally. Okay, if it was, so I'll put all these points here. That's if it was just y equals sine x. But what we have here is sine x minus 60. Okay, so this is sine x minus 60, and this is inside the function. So this is of, of the form y equals f of x minus 60. So it's inside the function, so it does the opposite. So it's like a horizontal translation of vector 60, 0. So it goes 60 degrees to the right. Every point is translated 60 degrees to the right. So for example, this, this 0, 0 will end up at 60, 0. And this mon minus 180 will end up at minus 120, 0. And this 0, uh, this, sorry, minus 90 and minus 1, okay, minus 1, will end up at minus 30 and minus 1. It'll end up over there. Okay, I'm going to move them. And this will end up at plus 60, 240, which was going to be out of our range. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to move these points along. That's going to go there. And that's going to go there. Okay, let me just move this down a bit just to fiddle it. Okay. All right. And um, this is going to go to 60. And this 90, ah, oh, I forgot the 90. This 90 is going to go plus 60, 150. This is going to go to 150. All right, so this point is going to go to 150 and 1. And this point is going to move along to 240. So this, the sine curve will look something like this now. Okay, so let me draw it in that new color. It's going to go like this. I'll draw just this part of it and then I'll add and get rid of what I don't need. So it's going to go like this. Oops. Too thick. Okay, so try and make it like look like a curve. As I said, some students lost marks by not making it look curved enough. Okay, so it's going to go like this. Through 60. It's going to go up to 1. And it's going to go down to 0. Okay, I can don't have to worry too much about that because I can stop there. I can stop at 180 because we don't need to go that far. Okay? So we can stop there for that side. So this is your X. Okay, so we stopped here. and But oops, this side I have to continue, isn't it? So I should have thought about that. So this side is going to continue going upwards like this. It won't ro quite reach one. Um, I need the other color. Yeah, so this will continue going upwards, but it won't quite reach 1. It's going to keep going. I made it too high. It's going to be going upwards without actually reaching 1. Okay, so I guess that's okay. All right, so there's the sine curve. There's sine of um, x minus 60. Everything shifts 60 degrees to the right. Okay, now... Uh, we have to write down the places where these curves hit the um, x-axis. We have to show the coordinates. So we're going to show the point. So, of course, this one hits the x-axis at 180 and at 
minus 180 and then plus 180 and that's zero. The asymptotes, you got x equals minus 190, minus 190 and x equals plus 90. Okay, and for this curve, it hits the x-axis at 60 and minus 120 and it hits the y-axis at this point here. So we've got to show the, the coordinates of this point. Now this point is when the sine, this is a graph of y equals sine of x minus 60. Okay, and on the y-axis, x equals zero. X equals zero on the y-axis. So this is, the, this is going to give you sine of minus 60. Okay, the sine of minus 60 is going to be like minus sine of 60, which is root three over two. If you don't believe me, if you don't believe me, you can, whoops, check the calculator. Where's my calculator gone? Can't find my calculator. There it is. Okay, so sine, of minus 60 degrees okay now I think I have to go back into I have to go back into degree mode one okay sine of minus 60 is minus root 3 over 2 as I said okay minus minus root 3 over 2 okay the sine of minus 60 is going to be the same as or negative of sine of 60 which is root 3 over 2 so this is minus root 3 over 2 so this point here I'll just put an arrow so it can be clear this is negative root 3 over 2. That's where it crosses the, the y-axis. So there we have answered part A, okay, where we had to show or draw these two graphs together. Then the next part of the question states that we have to write down the number of solutions of uh, sine x minus 60 plus tan x equals 0 in the interval of minus 180 to 180. So basically this equation here can be solved using these graphs because um, if you just subtract tan x from both sides you will have sine x minus 60 equals minus tan x. Okay, so if I, if I start off with sine x minus 60 plus tan x equals 0, if I rearrange that equation I'll end up with the sine of x minus 60 equals minus tan x, oops, equals minus the tangent of x. Okay, and you can see here that, that those are the two graphs that we've drawn. And where they're equal to each other is where they intersect. And we can see they intersect at one, two places in this particular range. Okay, they, they intersect in these two places here. So therefore, we can say that the number of solutions is two. The number of solutions is two. Okay, so for part B, the answer is two solutions. So this is answering part B. So we can say we have two solutions. Okay, and there we have our answer for part B. And we finished the, we finished the paper. Okay, thank you for watching.